What's going on guys? This is Eric Yu and yes you and I'm talking to you. This is kind of awkward but it's about 6.20 in the morning right now. I'm not sure you can see it. Like how? Like that? Ah screw that. I'm not super flexible and I know yoga instructor. So it's a bit early right now because I need to catch my flight in a couple of hours and my wife is still asleep. So uh, I try to be quiet before I wake up otherwise it's gonna be a smackdown I'm going to Macau this weekend on my company's annual trip but before I get out of here I want to start with the topic of today talking about yogurt yes a basic information of two main type of yogurts so this video to discuss the two main type of production process for yogurt but now I need to get ready and get the head out of here and I'll talk to you guys later so we are at the airport now uh, it's always kind of awkward for me to do the vlog at the airport especially with a big ass camera uh, because it's a little bit too obvious so uh, I'm just using my phone for now and when I travel I usually travel with lights so basically this is the only backpack that I have with all my camera gears and my clothes for the next few days and that's basically it and just another tip guys uh, when you travel with all the camera gear don't check in your camera gear bring on board with you finally check into our room look at this room and this is my roommate Henry say hi Henry Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my roommate. It's my colleague as well. So uh, we just checked in here and we're going to get lunch. It's about 2 o'clock right now. So uh, hopefully my other colleague will think about something to eat around this area. But we heard it's really expensive, but we will see. Okay guys, we're at the top of the hill right now and I'm gonna have a very busy day today so let's go ahead and talk about yogurts. Yogurt is a type of fermented dairy that you can either have probiotic or none at all. And you probably like, wait a minute, isn't that why we eat yogurt? But we'll get to that in a little bit. So the simplest way to explain the process of yogurt making is to incubate the milk with culture within the range of temperature well normally from 36 to 42 but normally we wouldn't go above 40 because this is the range where the culture can grow effectively and why we need this temperature when the temperature is too low so that it won't form that texture of yogurt but when the temperature is too high it will kill all the culture during the process and it doesn't taste like milk at all but of course Every culture has their own characteristics. Just like human, we all have our personality. And this also applies to fermentation time of each culture. Some of the culture only takes about a couple of hours, but some culture will require overnight fermentation. And pH, in this case, the acidity, is usually tested to determine whenever the culture or the yogurt is completed. For example, pH 4.6-ish is usually a good number for the yogurts. 
and it has to be cooled down to chill condition as soon as it reaches that pH otherwise the culture will overgrow and make the yogurt too acidic and it goes back quickly trying to have yogurt in the room temperature for a couple days and you will find out there's gonna be a big giant party inside of your yogurts Okay, so what's behind me is the signature place. It's actually the landmark of Macau, which is the Cathedral of St. Paul. And look at all these people right right here. It's so, like, yeah, yeah, it's it's China, man. Welcome to China. We get all kinds of tours here, and it's crazy. But uh, I really need to get out of here because it's getting really, really packed. Just got back to my hotel. But anyway, let's go back to our topic, yogurt. So for the production manufacturers, there are two main types of production process. One is set yogurt, and the second one is stirred yogurt. So what are the difference? Set yogurt is when the milk is being fermented inside the final container or the final packaging, such as the cups or the tops or etc. And stir yogurt is a little bit different. The milk has been fermented before they're being packed inside the final container. But why do they do that? Well, it's because they do provide different texture to the yogurts. So since the said yogurt is being fermented inside the final packaging or the final container, so the manufacturer they don't really have to worry about the final products being too thick after the fermentation. It can be hard like rock. That's what she said. Can't help it. As long as there's still liquid before the filling. Stir yogurt, on the other hand, it needs to be at least some sort of liquid or pasty form before the filling so that it can be filled inside of your containers. But you're probably wondering, why don't the manufacturer just do the set yogurt process? Because when you do the set yogurt process, you do need a very large fermentation room to keep all these yogurts. When the fermentation room is too big, the temperature is very, very hard to control. And it's really, really difficult to have the temperature evenly spread out in the entire room. That may cause inconsistency between each unit. So in this case, stir yogurt is more effective it's more efficient in terms of mass production. And that's why most of the manufacturer out there in the market, they use stir yogurt process and they would not want to do the set yogurt. So how you distinguish set yogurt and stir yogurt? One is set and one is stir. The answer is simple. Just look at their consistency and texture. Stir yogurt is somewhat pasty or liquidy and set yogurt is usually a lot firmer and you will be able to keep the shape even after you scoop it. Now, you guys can tell the difference between the two. I will keep on posting a lot of information about food manufacturing, nutrition, and keto recipes. So if you do like contents like this, please click that subscribe button. And if you do have questions, please leave your comments below. I will see you guys next time. Peace and love.